Hello everyone, myself Hitanshi Acharya and this is task 2, movie rating production under the internship program at Codesoft. The aim is to build a model that predicts the rating of a movie based on the various features like genre, director, actors, gender, movie name and much more. So first of all, let's import some of the important libraries. I have imported NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib and Seaborn. Now let's download the data set. So the data set is here into the three formats, movie, rating and users. So let's talk about the movie data set first. So movie data sets will uh, initially look like this. It has kind of one, two and three columns, but it is uh, kind of separated with this two double columns. So we have to pre-process it. And for that, I have used this parameter separation and I uh, here pass the double column and after the pre-processing uh, what we get is this three columns which is movie IDs, movie name and genre. I have used the Excel for this particular one too because it as we can see here there is no um, heading. Here we have movie IDs, you know, movie IDs, movie name and genre. But in the original data set, there is no such header present. And that's why what I did is I have added this header into my Excel sheet. And then after it will look like this. Um, I have also printed the shape of the movie data set. I've also seen the statistical value of the data set. I've also checked that whether there is a null value present or not. And I repeat the same process with the rating data set and with the user data set. For the user data set, I have also encoded the male female into 0101 because it will help us to train the model easily and smoothly without any error. So basically I have used the label encoder function from the scikit-learn library for doing such task. As we can see here, it is 0101 transformed, right? Okay, but uh, it's time for concatenating a data set. So after concatenating the three data set, uh, the data set will look like this. It contains much more of unnecessary columns that is not even a use for the visualization. So let's drop those columns. Um, so I have dropped the occupation, zip code and timestamp column. And after dropping the data set will look like this. So is it our final data set? Let's see. Uh, so first of all, let's check the R data set. Recent data set contains any null values or not. And the result is quite shocking because movie ID has 61,000 rows which has null values. Why so? Because our movie data set contains only 300, sorry, 3,883 rows only. And the user data set contains 65,000 something rows. So what about others? So after 3,883, the, all the other rows consider as the null value. So what we are going to do with this null value? We we'll simply drop this null columns or rows. So what I did is I have dropped the other rows with the help of the drop any function. Okay. So now our data set contains 3,883 rows and nine columns. Now let's visualize our pre-processed data set. So for the visualization, what I did is I visualize the rating column with respect to gender, right? So zero stand for the all females and one stand for all males. So overview is that all the females are comparatively low in number, which uh, used to rate the movies while the uh, males are high in numbers who are able to uh, rate the movies. Uh, now I have seen or visualized the age with the help of the histogram. We can also here see here what I did, I did with, with the help of the gender, whether male and female. And now I did with the help of the age. So we are likely to see that between the age 20 to 30, people are more likely to rate the movies. And this is the second observation. What are our next observation? Let's see uh, the ratings value count. So ratings value count results is that uh, number four, rating number four is the highest rating 
that has been given from various kinds of people that is male female and the 20 age person 30 age person etc so the number 4 rating has been given more priority than number 3 then number 5 then number 2 and then number 1 now let's visualize with the help of the movie id so movie id is quite quite of the disrupted um, format that uh, we are not likely to use in our training purpose right but what uh, definitely we are uh, getting the visualization that the movie ids between the 1000 and 15000 sorry 1000 and 1500 the movie id between this uh, particular range has more likely to you know the highest rating among this whole data set okay and i have also seen this uh, age or uh, ratings with the help of the age here also with the help of the histogram also we have seen that um, between 20 to 30 the age has uh, you can it rating the people that has been uh, given from the 20 to 30 the people are more likely to rate the movies okay and at final i have also see that age is like booming column that is responsible for the rating purposes so our final data set will look like this and uh, uh, before the training let's drop some of the unnecessary columns again which is the ratings movie name genre and movie ids why i have dropped this columns on the basis of the visualization that's why so on the basis of the visualization only the one that is that has to be given into the input has it is user id movie id gender and age that's it no other columns are useful enough for prediction of the movie ratings and then after i have used the logistic regression as we can see here i have used the logistic regression method for training the model but before that i have used min max scalar to to you know the rangeify kind of our data set so i have deranged our data set from 0 to 1 because to you know increase the accuracy of the prediction itself and i have predicted using the train the model using the logistic regression and then i have uh, used the dot predict method for model prediction and these are the kind of uh, resultant error that we are given and which matches to the uh, wife test if we are gonna you know check whether it is correct or not let's print the y test yes here copy and then paste let's see whether it works or not so yeah see what we can see here is 4 4 4 and 3 4 4 so we can see here 3 4 4 yeah so it is kind of uh, giving the very much particular right uh, prediction on the basis of the what we have did earlier thank you so much